This video and others like it were made possible by the generous support of my patrons on Patreon. Paleontology as a field is sadly susceptible to sensationalism. From the endless T-Rex comparisons made every time a new theropod is discovered, to a new largest dinosaur ever contender that just gets outclassed by previous giants. Now these sort of headlines are mostly done for attention and clicks, but end up overshadowing and overhyping the actual results of these discoveries. However, once in a while, a discovery is made that truly lives up to the hype. And in 2023, one such fossil discovery was unveiled to the shock and adoration of the world, the magnificent Perucetus. In this video, we will learn more about this massive marine mammal, which is truly one of the most spectacular discoveries ever made in vertebrate paleontology. Enjoy! Perucetus was described and published on August 2nd, 2023. The bones of Perucetus colossus were recovered from the Paracas formation. This animal lived around 39.8 to 37.8 million years ago during the Middle Eocene. The holotype specimen included 13 vertebrae, 4 ribs, and some parts of the pelvic region. Perucetus was the largest fossil vertebrate ever discovered and perhaps one of the largest animals to ever exist. The bones of Perucetus were recovered from a cliffside, and more bones are likely hidden nearby. Hopefully, future expeditions can find more fossils and give us a more complete picture of this animal. Perucetus is the largest member of the Bacillosauridae family. Bacillosaurids are a family of early whales that lived during the Eocene. This family includes animals like the famous Bacillosaurus and the recently discovered Tutsidus. Interestingly enough, Tutsidus was published shortly after Perucetus, and it is the smallest Bacillosaurid known. The Tutsidus specimen published is considered close to maturity, and it only measured 2.5 meters or about 8 feet. It also only weighed around 180 to 187 kilograms or 398 to 412 pounds. This little dude was completely dwarfed by other Bacillosaurids, including its colossal cousin Perucetus. Now Perucetus was definitely big, but how big exactly? The animal is believed to have measured up to 18.3 meters long. Now the exact answer for how much it weighed is quite complicated. You see, due to the density and robustness of its bones, weight estimates have varied from anywhere between 85 to 340 tons in its description paper. The heavier estimate would make Perucetus nearly double the weight of the largest blue whales. This larger estimate has been called into question since it was calculated in part by using sirenians like manatees as a point of reference. This was done due to how large and robust the bones of Perucetus were. However, more conservative estimates using benthic whales and other large bacillosaurid species place the animal at anywhere from 60 to 75 tons. While this doesn't make it as large as a modern blue whale, it still makes it the largest whale in the fossil record and a colossal cetacean nonetheless. Given that Perucetus was a strangely proportioned creature, it's hard to assess what its ecology would have been like without more fossils. Based on the current remains, some ideas have still been proposed. Like many larger bacillosaurids, it probably wasn't an efficient or fast swimmer, especially considering its heavier build. Some suggest it might have been a scavenger that fed upon large dead animals. It may have used its size to scare off other animals away from large carcasses. Another, more probable idea is that it fed on the sea floor using suction feeding. Perucetus seems to have been remarkably buoyant due to its thick bones. This could have helped the animals sift around on the seabed for crustaceans, mollusks, and other small animals. Regardless, the debate will likely remain a point of contention until at least a skull is discovered. The Paracas Formation had a very rich diversity of weird and wonderful marine animals. Alongside Perucetus, other early prehistoric whales called these waters home. And Perucetus wasn't the only Bacillosaurid present here. Ohukahea was a smaller Bacillosaur and a member of the Dorodontinae subfamily. The Dorodontines included animals like Dorodon and Tutsidus. Due to Ohukahea's smaller size, the animal most likely didn't directly compete with Perucetus for the same resources. Both Akukahea and Perucetus represent how early Bacillosaurids were able to diversify into drastically different forms, even within the same environment. 
from tiny speedy beast to the chonkiest of chonks. The elusive Mystacodon was a smaller cetacean at just under 4 meters long. It represents the oldest known Lanocetid, which is the group of cetaceans that eventually gave rise to modern day baleen whales. Mystacodon was a suction feeder and represents a transitional phase between tooth whales and filter feeding baleen whales. Another bizarre cetacean from these fossil beds was Paragocetus. This animal looked less like a typical whale and more like their earlier land-dwelling ancestors. It would still frequent the land while going out to sea to chase after fish and other marine prey. Alongside these bizarre early whales, early penguins are also known from this formation. One such penguin was Ecodiptes. Ecodiptes is notable for being a giant penguin with a standing height of 1.5 meters or 5 feet tall. This species had a beak more similar to herons than that of modern penguins, representing a transitional stage in penguin beak evolution. More fossils show that prehistoric eagle rays and large extinct sawfish were also present here. The diversity of animals found in the Paracas formation show us that Perucetus was part of a very productive ecosystem. It likely was a keystone species just as modern day whales are, but only further discoveries can help us truly understand this animal's role in its environment. For now though, we can still appreciate how such a hefty and chunky beast swam the oceans 39 million years ago. Perucetus most likely was not the 340 ton titan some initial estimates made it out to be. But nonetheless, it is still one of the most significant discoveries ever made in paleontology. The fact that whales were able to achieve such incredible sizes in just 27 million years after the extinction of non-avian dinosaurs and the large marine reptiles like Mosasaurus show us just how adaptable mammals really are. And it further begs the question, if something as big as Perucetus could evolve so soon after the mass extinction event, then what else could be out there? What other secrets could the Eocene hold? Before I conclude this video, I want to give a special thank you to everybody who has supported me over the years. A special thank you goes out to all my Patreon supporters who helped make funding for this video possible. I'm happy that I can continue to share my passion projects to a larger audience, and I look forward to making even more animations for years to come. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to the channel and follow Nature's Compendium on social media and Discord. You can also support my channel on Patreon and get behind the scenes access to exclusive content, rewards, and even early previews of upcoming videos. As always, thank you for watching.